Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Pop Dogs. Today we're going to be doing 10 pops that we need to have made. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by Grape Lady. So today I thought I would do 10 Funko Pops that haven't been made yet, but I think we need to have made. So let's just jump right into it. Here is number one. So, any last meows? Huh? No? Then I'll see you in a few days. That's right guys, our lovable cat-eating alien elf. So many of us grew up watching elf. Uh, he's just a part of our childhoods. They could do a rides where they got him with his spaceship. Uh, they could do a, one with him and Lucky. I just think it'd be a really good idea, and I think a lot of people would buy those. So number one is Elf. So number two on the list. That's right, the raccoons. I don't know if the raccoons was just a Canadian thing, but whew, that's his childhood as it gets right there, Big Daddy. Could you imagine a Cyril Sneer Funko Pop? Anyway, because of your bumbling, they not only know that I know what they know, but I don't even know what they know that I know. Yeah, that'd be a great pop. You could have a three pack of the pigs, the raccoons. You know, but even if they just made one raccoon and a Cyril Sneer, I'm sure a lot of people would just be happy with just that. So number two was the raccoons. So number three. Cause doggies on the gang, my bank goes on swole. I'm still on hit legit now, I'm on for road, stroke. With the dog pound right by. That's right, Snoop Doggy Dog. I heard a rumor once that there was a Snoop Dogg supposed to be made, but then it never got made, but that's one pop rock we all have to have. You could have a whole bunch of Snoop Dogs, just like there's a whole bunch of biggies. You could do younger Snoop, older Snoop, Snoop Lion. We need a Snoop Dogg. So Snoop Dogg was number three. Here's number four. That's right, one of the greatest games Capcom has ever made, Ghosts and Goblins. These are a must. We could have Arthur, and we could have Arthur Chase, where he's in his underwear. Normal one will be in his armor. Uh, who wouldn't want to pop with a little red devil? The, uh, the boss guy at the end. These would be amazing pops. I think we need to get more Nintendo pops. Like the Mario Brothers, like what the heck is taking so long getting that license? But yeah, Ghosts and Goblins, we need to have those. Number five. You are my friend, and you get a free soda. That's free? Thanks, Clark. AJ, tell the kids at school my friends can have free sodas. <laughs> I'll pass the word. <laughs> That's right, my man Corky from Life Goes On. This guy is a freaking legend, and he needs his own pop. I know some of y'all are thinking, oh, you can't make up a pop a guy who has Down Syndrome. I say, what, you're not going to make a pop because the guy's got Down Syndrome? We all got something, he got that. So let's not hold that against him and get this man a pop. So number five is Corky from Life Goes On. 
number six. Ow, and ow. That's right, everybody, Friday Night Hero, Steve Urkel. You could have a Steve Urkel, you could have a Stefan Chase. I'm sure people would buy a Carl Winslow Funko Pop. We need a Steve Urkel. Funko, do you want to put down a Steve Urkel pop you made on the table and say, did I do that? Yes, you do. Now make this thing. So number six with Steve Urkel. Here's number seven. But this is a good time. Let's hear it. Fuck, 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 fuck you, you, man. Hey, 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 hey. God. For a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags. That's right, guys. Everybody's favorite bank robin trio, the boys from Grand Theft Auto V. Who wouldn't want to own a Trevor Pop? You could have rides. Imagine a ride with Trevor's shitty old truck and Franklin's Dodge. You could have uh, Michael's fancy black car. You could go back and make some of the other older characters from GTA 4, 3. Uh, I think these are pops that would sell really well, and I think Funko needs to get on that. So yeah, number seven was the boys from Grand Theft Auto V. Here is number eight. You have to beat the game twice? You have to beat the game twice in a row. That's just great because this time I'm twice as fucking pissed off! That's right, everybody's favorite YouTube nerd, James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd. I don't know how they haven't made a pop of this guy already. Uh, They've made a U2s of them, which sold very well. If you want to get one of those, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks on eBay. Uh, this thing would probably sell out in 20 minutes if they made an angry video game nerd Funko Pop because he's got so many fans and he's been beloved for so long. So I think Funko needs to make that. So number eight was the angry video game nerd. Here is number nine. Who wanted the large sausage? We did, but we don't have any money. How can we pay you? Well... <laughs> yeah, that's right. I said it. Ron Jeremy needs a Funko Pop. Let's do it. Just for the hell of it. And alright, guys. Number 10. This is a big one. Charlotte has more than a professional interest in yours truly, and who can blame her? I've never understood why I had such a profound effect on women, but why argue with success? Oh yeah, that's right, one of the greatest goofballs who ever lived, Ernest P. Worrell. Uh, we need a whole entire Funko line from this guy. We could have Ernest Goes to Camp, Ernest Scared Stupid, Ernest Goes to Jail. You could have Chases. I think this line would sell very well because everybody loves Ernest. Well, that's my first list. I'm going to probably revisit these kind of videos in the future. But while I was making this video, I had a couple packages show up. So let's open them up. All right, guys, let's get into the first package. This was a pretty good score. Amazon had a flash sale the other day and I got this bad boy for $17. And literally an hour later, it was back up to like 70 bucks to buy. Oh yeah. What we have here is the office advent calendar. Got 24 little figures inside. I'm probably never going to open it. I'll just keep her closed. Add her to the old list. But that is cool. Great deal I couldn't pass up. All right, guys, we got one more here. This is a good one, if it's what I think it is. This is 
one I've been wanting since I first seen it. Packaged very stupidly, of course. Thank you, Amazon, but she looks okay. And in here, guys, we have the Star Wars Force Ghost 3 pack. Anakin Skywalker, Yoda, and Obi-Wan. Oh yeah, this thing looks awesome. I'm so glad I finally got her to add her to the old Star Wars collection. Which I'm probably going to do in the next couple videos or so. I'll make a video of all my Star Wars pops. Well, there we go, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care.